Statistically, um, most of us are gonna grow up to be hoes. Statistically. It's estimated that roughly 30 to 60% of all married individuals will engage in infidelity at some point during their marriage. That's why I did the bit at the beginning because of that, so. Now I know this depressing fact because one of my friends quoted it to me, verbatim. No, really, I Googled it and it is right here. She said this uh, word for word. Which was impressive, but also concerning. Because this wasn't the type of fact you'll find on the back of a Snapple cap. <laughs> Ooh, bars. So I asked her if she was experiencing some um relationship issues. Which she indeed was. Go on ahead and put 10 points on the Kurt Ritchie friendship board. <laughs> She explained that she was involved with this guy for about six months. They kissed, went on dates, and they even met each other's parents. And about two days ago, she finds out that he cheated on her. Now, I'm not the best word person, but I totally knew where she was coming from. It, cheating sucks. Like, I totally understood. Until she said this, that I'm about to poorly act out right now. I was even gonna ask her to be my boyfriend. Wait, so y'all, y'all weren't? Boyfriend and girlfriend? No. So y'all weren't uh, official at all? No. But if y'all weren't dating, was that was that really cheating though? Which in hindsight probably wasn't the best thing to say to someone who was uh, shattered emotionally. But really, I think it was a legitimate question. And in fact, there are a couple things to think about. One, is that technically cheating if you guys haven't explicitly said you're exclusive? Two, if so, was it even wrong of him to do that? And three, does she even have grounds to be mad at him? So, uh, let's Let's ask the public. It's low-key cheating, but it's low-key not cheating. That is not a good answer. Yes. No, it's not cheating. No, 100%. No, 100%. I don't consider it cheating. No, I technically wouldn't consider it cheating because they weren't officially together. Yes. Okay. Technically, it's not considered cheating. If it's not cheating, did they do something wrong? <laughs> ah, I got him. She played herself. I do think it was technically wrong. Like, I, I don't know if I would get mad at the person oh. for it. I commit to one person, you shouldn't commit to another person. Like, it's just wrong. Damn, you trying to find a wife, boy. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> do they have a right to get mad at them? Yes. I mean, yeah, I think she has a right to be mad. Yes. Go crazy, burn his shit. I wouldn't, you know, try to tell her if I should be like, all right, fair enough, you made your choice, you know? In a very poor one. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and do whatever your emotions tell you to do. Like burn all the... Burn stuff. his house down. All right, so uh, here's my opinion. Was it cheating? So let's just Google the definition of unfaithful. Engaging in sexual relations with a person other than a regular partner, a contravention to previous promise or understanding. Ah, th there it is, yeah, see? In contravention of a previous promise or understanding. Meaning that they had to come to some sort of, a, I don't know, agreement, like they were, I, I don't know, a boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's not cheating, case closed. And if it is, I guess everybody's gonna eventually get cheated on. Cause it happens all the time. See what I did there with the title? And the, it's cause, yeah. Was it wrong of him to do that? There's two ways of looking at this situation, on paper and on morals. I mean, on paper, you're not exclusive, so everything is technically okay. But on morals, like, come on, we, we know what we're doing here. Like, for real, if y'all been dating, like, dating, dating, like, tonsil hockey at your local Chipotle dating, going behind their back like that would be a top-tier dick move, which is why I'ma have to say morals is the way to go. Does she have a right uh, to be mad? Again, um, on paper, no, but morally, Yes, but I'm gonna have to lean towards on paper for this one. Okay, 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 but hold on. I know I just took a drastic turn by saying he did something wrong, but she doesn't have the right to be mad. But right, every, everybody say it with me now, okay? Y'all never said y'all were exclusive. I kind of see it like like getting a new dog and, and putting it in your backyard without a fence. Like it's your dog, you love him, you clean him, you give him pet names because you're weird, but if you set him out in the yard and don't have a fence up, there's a chance he's gonna run away anyway to a potentially nicer, funnier, better looking person with really big personalities. But I can tell some of y'all still don't see where I'm coming from, so here's a quick story that might help. So one night I was at this party with some friends, and in this group of friends was a girl I had been talking to heavily for the last couple months. So we were all dancing, you know, having a good time, and all of a sudden I turned my head to see this girl having wild animal planet sex, like like right there in, in the middle of the party. Okay, it, it might not have been sex, but, but dear lord, it might as well have been, like goodness gracious. And I got mad, like like we're done, it's, it's over mad. Why would 
I want to be with a girl who wanted to dance with anyone but me? Like, what the? Looking back, I, I can say I overreacted a touch. I mean, sure, I was allowed to be upset. I liked her. But despite it being morally wrong, I mean, if she wants to do that, technically she can. Even if I thought doing it wasn't so, you know, cool. Now, this might not be on the same level as her doing, you know, the adult dance with someone else. But technically, the same rules apply. One difference is if I'm okay with it or not. Which, in that case, I kind of got over. But if I was in her case, maybe not so much. So, I wouldn't say you had the right to be mad. But you are are most definitely allowed to be because they're a piece of crap i was about to say the s word but my grandma watches this hi grandma moral of the story it's not cheating also moral of the story uh, lie to your friends because she was really mad that i said that she was actually genuinely uh, mad at me but i should know better so that, that's fine we'll walk outside because people are sleeping <sighs> what's up y'all what's up b but what did you guys think? Do you think that was cheating? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I am actually genuinely curious. I don't know if someone else here. I'm sorry for the giant wait. I'm back in college, but I'm trying to get things running again. So hopefully we'll be good. But if you want to know if I'm alive or not, you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. Also, shout out to 8-Bit for making a feature in the video. Really appreciate it, man. You guys should totally check him out. He's super hardworking and I love his stuff. So go check him out. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We out.